problems 7 through 12, we're checking for origin symmetry. And we do that by replacing x with negative x and y with negative y and seeing if we end up with the same equation as we started out with. As you can see, this is different from what we started out with. So this is not symmetrical with respect to the origin. So there's no origin symmetry. For number eight, we replace y with negative y and x with negative x. And we have to cube it. So negative x cubed you're going to end up with a negative times negative times negative, so that's negative x cubed. Here, if we multiply both sides by negative 1, we end up with y equals positive x cubed, which is equal to the original equation. So there is origin symmetry. For number 9, Replace x with negative x. There's no y to replace it with negative y. And this one is not symmetrical with respect to the origin. So there's no origin symmetry. If you recall, this is a vertical line going through x equals 2. So as you can see, it's not symmetrical with respect to the origin. Let's go back to this one that was symmetrical with respect to the origin, number 8. We're going to learn later that the graph of y equals x cubed looks something like this. And the way to tell if something has origin symmetry or not, the easiest way is to turn the graph upside down and see if you get the same graph as you started out with. If you turn this upside down, you see you do end up with the same exact graph. So it does have origin symmetry. But right now we're doing it just by doing this technique of replacing x and y with the negative of it. So in number 10, replace y with negative y. And you do not end up with the same graph as we started up. So this is not symmetrical with respect to the origin. As you can tell, this is a horizontal line at y equals negative 4, and there's no origin symmetry. This graph would look different if you turned it upside down. It would look like the graph of y equals to positive 4. Here, let's replace x with negative x, and y with negative y. And this becomes x squared minus y squared equals 1. This is the same exact equation that we started out with. And so there is origin symmetry. We will learn later that this is a graph of a hyperbola. Okay. So to no, going to number 12, replace y with negative y, x with negative x. When you cube negative y, it becomes y. Negative y cubed, negative times negative is positive. So this is positive y cubed. Let me put this in parentheses. So this is a different graph than what we started out with. Different function, different equation. Here we had 1 minus y cubed equals x. Here we have 1 plus y cubed equals negative x. Even if we multiply both sides by negative 1, we're going to end up with negative 1 minus y cubed equals x, which is different than what we had. So there's no origin symmetry here either. 